Welcome back to A Bus and Beyond. This is part two of the compilation of the best of the rest of your driveway camper reviews. We've been so impressed with them all and want to say a huge thank you to everyone who took part during lockdown. It's been fantastic having a nosy at your vans. So sit back and enjoy. So I'm Thomas and I'm Elliot. We are from T4 Family and this is our van Gino. we might bring our Connellys and then up there are some examples of the books that I would bring because I would read books before I go to bed. So yes and then here are two of the cupboards. Wait and there's a knife and fork paste from here. Yeah, no. yeah then from you here. flip that open and, and open. there is all the cutlery. And then and down the here is the fridge. fridge. Um, the fridge. the fridge! Currently there's nothing inside of it. That there is the hob, oh. and like, and over here yeah, is the sink. Tap and the sink, sink. and yeah. There's also another this is cupboard where here, which is like, it slides down and up. Ugh. Uh, so currently there's some like stationary stuff in the top one. Oh, so the lights work when you flick this one and this one. Wait, no. From the left. Oh, this one and this one. Oh. Yeah, so. So these here yeah. are oh, the driver's seats. seats. The driver and the passenger seats. I'm just going to sit here the whole day. Now. Basically, there's the steering wheel and all that stuff there. The then this yeah. one is a special. <laughs> seat that turns round, yeah, I'm not sure how a swivel works. seat, but we'll we're just going to keep it like this because we don't know this is, uh, how the to turn it. The, the door needs round. to be open because we can't do it. So upstairs is the pop top and at night we pull it down so that's where uh, the kids sleep. Yeah. And this is what it looks like at bed. And now it's bedtime mode. So first of all, we're gonna go upstairs to the pop top, which is where we sleep. Welcome to our bedroom. This is where we sleep when we are on holiday. This is mommy and daddy's bed when we're on holiday. So here is some more storage right here. As I explained earlier, there is still still pencils in. Right next to it is another set of storage. Yeah, Which, he has I don't know what is in uh, that. Things. I'm not bothered to check. And at the back, there's even more storage. But you can't see that because it's at the back. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our fan. Bye! VW Transporter, 314 Newton meter, 2 litre diesel. It's the one we chose for our camper van because it fits in the garage, the height is just right. It was a modification done by Dove Campers in uh, Welshpool Road in Perth. Uh, wheelbase 3.4 metres and the total length about 5.3. And you just caught us on the last day of our trip to the Kimberley in Lake Argyle. Um, we returned back through Carrigini and the Pilbara. Brilliant trip, except for the dust and the flies. And I'll show you around. This is obviously the outside. We've uh, carried an extra fridge with us, a three-way, 12 volt, 240 and gas. That works wonderfully well. Not too good on 12 volts in the van and puts a bit of a strain on the single spare battery, uh, as does the main fridge. But uh, and also the towels are going to be replaced by a nice uh, shea cloth 
when we get home. But that's something we developed on this uh, proving run that we've just done the last four weeks. This modification included swivel seats, uh, which we thought was essential. Um, we've not got all the bells and whistles that uh, some of the camper vans have, we just have uh, the basic uh, T6, which is fine. And the uh, fuel consumption is averaging about 7.5 to 8 litres per 100, which is very good. That's fully loaded. That compares to about anywhere between 12 and 20 litres per 100 kilometres towing a caravan. This modification included uh, a double seat system with uh, cupboards underneath. So the cupboards down here, oh, this opens to give a drawer, two drawers. Uh, there's a cupboard underneath there and the microwave is hidden. We've not used that microwave at all by the seats that have folded down to the bed. We keep the bed up all the time whilst we're traveling. That's most convenient for us. Um, on the top here, sorry I don't have a, a GoPro so it's n not all stabilized. We have a sink which in retrospect is not in a good position when the bed's down. Uh, the control panel for lights, fans, water pump, uh, the auxiliaries, the fridge and the cooker. The cooker allows us plenty of workspace on the top and it is a diesel a diesel fuel cooker a little bit slow on warming up but once it gets going it really does a good job and the electrics batteries are all underneath a little bit out of the way but uh, we, we can get on with that and the canopy gives us plenty of space inside plenty of light. It looks a bit dark at the moment but uh, and then all the extra gear goes on the shelf at the back here or at the front um, and when we're moving the canopy comes down and all this all this goes back onto the bed and uh, the front as you can see we've got a full screen cover on the outside and two side covers Wonderful for uh, keeping the sun out when it's nice and warm and also keeps the heat in when it's cold and of course gives us the privacy that you need when we're doing all our private things inside here. The camp washing machine works really well on the rough roads and we certainly come across some rough roads. The only mistake I did make on the rough roads was not to let the tyre pressures down. Being at the front 50 psi and the back 44 it just meant that we had to go a little bit slower, 20 to 30k for about 40k, approaching Karatha from Millstream. So as you can see it's an up and over door and again we've got the uh, shade screen on the back and the windows, the curtains closed on the windows and the bed comes out to there and that end lifts up uh, quite easily um, and we do that with a lever that's on the inside here. My little patent lever here, press that down and that operates the bed lever, chair lever. Um, porta potty, gas bottle for the fridge and that's the uh, that's all the gear for a little barbecue but the table for the inside and then all the um, awning materials, extra bits and the best the best part, the outside shower. Use that quite a lot for getting access to water generally because the uh, the sinks in an awkward position as I mentioned. That's it for now from Gilligan Island just uh, south of Lehman in Western Australia. The sun's still out. We had a wonderful snorkel this morning before breakfast, well before 11 o'clock and uh, we're looking forward to a nice relaxing afternoon in the sunshine. I'll get more details out when we get home. Victor's stripped down for cleaning and all the bedding's off 
so you can see this fold down seat um, this end there's a, a lever buried down there but I've replaced that with a strap which is a lot easier to lift up to rack this system back this folds back and that can go up and down and there's the little lever I use for uh, pressing down on that side lever very difficult to get at when you're moving the actual seat itself Hello, just going to do a quick review on our, our uh, Shoes On Flash 757 Special Edition. We've had it two years and we call it Iris. So what we'll do is give you a quick look around the outside and a quick look inside. Right, it's on the normal Fiat Ducato uh, chassis. Habitation doors on the offside. I put extra locks on. We've got a large storage cupboard under the bed, and we've got the large locker, which is like a internal external access. We've got a rear bathroom or shower room with the WC hatch there. We've got a reversing camera up the back. We've got a smaller locker under the other bed. We had a gas glow system fitted. That's the outlet for the Truma diesel heater. Inside this cupboard is your electrics and also your water fill point and your water tank. And that's your uh, electric uh, mains power. Right, so that's around the outside. What we'll do now is have a quick look inside. Right, so here we are on the inside. It's just a normal Fiat Ducato body. It's just got a normal bog standard stereo in it, cup holders, imitation leather seats. Quite a bit of storage up on the top. Got a nice big skylight. On the cab we've got uh, Remis blinds. Under these uh, bench seats, we've got bench seats on either side. The table is a fold at one, goes in half and you can move it wherever you want. Uh, so under these bench seats I'll show you uh, now, well I'll make it up and I'll show you now what it looks like with the travel seat up. As you can see, and it's a very comfortable seat, it's a lot better than those uh, bench seats that used to uh, get in motorhomes, so fixed bench seats. Right, so as we pan round we come to the uh, small kitchen area, I'll show you that. And you go through, there's a sliding door which you can uh, shut into the two single beds and beyond that is the uh, shower room. Right, so in the kitchen area we've got a small sink, we've got uh, two gas burners and an electric hot plate and the oven's quite a nice little size, so it's an oven and grill combined. On this side we've got the Threatford three-way fridge, so it's automatic selection. Right above the Sutter lounge area, we've got the electric drop-down bed. It only comes down that far, and then a ladder hooks into there to get onto it. Right, we'll go through to the bedroom now. We've got two single beds either side, and plenty of storage cupboards. Then we've just got one wardrobe above the bed. So you can cut off this area with the sliding door. Right, so we've got the same sliding door on the uh, shower room. A nice little square sink. I've got your normal Thetford uh, toilet and your cassette pulls out at back at Motorhome. 
We've got a shower. I'll put the uh, Eco Camel head on. And it's got an air vent above. And it goes down. And we've got two drain holes in the shower tray. So we've got the uh, cabinet there, all as uh, deodorants, etc., in there. We've got a rear window which is frosted. And then we have this larger cupboard in the bathroom which we use and that can also access from the large door on the outside of the motorhome. Right so that concludes the uh, tour and sort of review of uh, our Iris R motorhome which is a Shusan Flash 757 Special Edition and um, we've had her from, uh, we've just had her two years, exactly two years. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching. This may look like a plain old workman's van, but looks can be very deceptive. This is in fact Valda. Let me show you what she looks like. As you come round to the front, you can see a common feature that you see in camper vans. And this is our mascot here. And we've called her affectionately Scruffy. We found Scruffy floating in the sea in Cornwall. When we lifted her out of the water, we noticed that her poor little face had been sucked off by fish. And we've had her in the front of the van ever since. And one day I even caught Dame Jessica Ennis admiring her. Coming round the side of the van, she has been valderized, And she has on the side some hills and trees and little valders that get moved around all over the place. One has even travelled off to the back of the van. But I know what you really want to see. You want to see inside the van. That's where things get really exciting. Let's have a look inside. Hello, my name is Kitty and this is Valder. She has 33 pom-poms in it and my mum's hands were bleeding after she made them all. We also have homemade Valder cushions and one says adventure and you one says explore. We also have some stickers on the walls made to help us relax and, and enjoy ourselves. Um, we also have a plant there, but I don't think it's real. It is real, it I look, look after real. it very well. And we um, also have a ladybug hoover, and it kind of doesn't work on the carpet, but it still definitely works. Oh, we also have fridge magnets, and everywhere we go we make one. And my favourite one's Nick Penny, because it's very pretty. We also have a TV, and my favourite is on. Um, oh, how funny. It's a bus and beyond. Now, in the van, we have all the usual essentials. So we have our two-ring hob here, and we have our sink here. We have chargers and all our controls, lots of cupboard space. And of course, in the fridge, it's really important when you're in a van that you have all the food essentials that you need, especially when you've got a young family. As you, oh, oh dear, wasn't it? Expecting that. Bed to close all the blinds, and mum makes me a hot chocolate. And then I get into my pyjamas. And now I'm ready to go to bed in the pop top. Oh, hello. This is a pop top. Me and my sister Clara sleep up here. It is, uh, it's got uh, three air vents and a glass and a window. And this is Cuddles, my favourite cuddly toy. And down there is where Mummy and Daddy sleeps. We hope you enjoyed our van tour. Hi, my name's Alison, this is my wife Charlotte, and that's our dog, Luna. Just kidding, really look like this. In January this year we bought this, a 1999 VW T4 multivan, with the idea to make it into a camper van. Since then we've done absolutely heaps and heaps of work, so 
now that we're finished, I'm just going to take you on a tour of our camper van. So um, we'll start in the front cab where I've changed the radio to a Pioneer radio. Um, I've changed the rear view camera. It's got a camera and a reverse camera in. Um, I've added a cup holder that just hides some wires, changed the gear stick knob to an eight ball gear stick for fun and extended it. And in the center here is the leisure battery with all of our electrics. Moving on to the main body of the van, um, this is where we've got the kitchen and the uh, rock and roll bed. So because it was a multi-van, this bed was already here. It's a full size bed. You remove the headrests and pull the handle at the bottom and that makes the bed come out. So the other multi-van feature we've kept is the uh, pop-up table um, and we've kept the chair next to that and the cup holders as well. So moving on into the kitchen, uh, this is the unit that we built. It's got everything that we need for a little camper van kitchen. Um, it's got the single ring Dometic hob. Um, it's got that little drainer board thing on the side. So it's just running cold water from this um, and obviously our little hob which is connected to the gas bottle and, um, uh, and you can just see on the front there that's where we've got all of our um electrics um so all of the lights the fridge and the water pump they're all attached to that all of the drawers they're secured just with bolts um and in this top one is where we've managed to um, basically keep all of our kitchen stuff so cups and pots and pans and tea and coffee and things um, in the bottom drawer is where we've got our compressor fridge. Um, again, we haven't really been able to test it out yet, but um, yeah, it's big enough. It seems like a good size, so hopefully that'll be uh, nice on our adventures. So on the top left, this is Charlotte's secret drawer that she made. We're using it for utensils and spices and uh, really important things like that. Um, on this side, this is where we can view how much water we've got left. Under the counter here, I put some LED lights and I also put some LED lights on both sides um, of the vehicle. Um, so they're really nice and bright at night. And this is um, the light that came with the vehicle so that runs off the car battery. So just bringing you outside, this is our access to our fresh water at the top, wastewater at the bottom. And our gas bottle sits in that gas locker there. And underneath that is the dropout vent for the gas as well. And that's all secured with a clip. And that indent there is uh, just for the door. So yeah, that's basically our multivan. Um, the only other things to mention are um, a few little extra bits we've put. So um, that's our lucky horseshoe. That was a wedding present. So I thought it would be nice to put it up here. Um, we've got a CO2 alarm that's it there on the side. I've got a fire extinguisher, which is going to live down the bottom here under the seat. Um, and I've got a, a fire blanket, which is um, under under this uh, table here. Um, also, just to bear in mind that we haven't been able to varnish everything yet because uh, of lockdown, we can't get the varnish. So just to bear that in mind, those bits aren't finished. This is our little dragon because when I bought the vehicle, um, the person I bought it off told me that the colour of the vehicle is dragon green, uh, which I thought sounded incredibly cool. So we've got a little dragon to um, go with the vehicle and behind us is uh, just a little shower um, really good for washing the dog um, and hopefully might come in handy when we are camping and um, I just keep that tied there and a picnic blanket tied there as well and um, there's a privacy curtain tied there and I also uh, with the vehicle got all the original um, multivan curtains so they stay up with those poppers there which you can just see the top but that is our multivan Thank you for watching our video. Again, a huge thank you to everyone who sent us their videos. Part three will be out soon, so keep an eye out for that. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.